Well, hello there, random viewer. Welcome back. I'm Archie Stormcloud, and thank you for checking out this short guide on how to build improvised shelters. These crude lean-to shelters can protect players from the harsh elements, as well as provide quite a large amount of storage space. Now let's begin by taking a 360-degree look at all three variations of shelters available. They are the stick shelter, the leather shelter, and the tarp shelter. To begin construction of your shelter, you will need to craft a shelter kit. Shelter kits are crafted by combining four small wooden sticks and a rope. Take the stack of short wooden sticks to your hand and drag the rope over to combine them. This will trigger the crafting selection prompt menu. Be sure to cycle through the selection until you find craft shelter kit. Once the shelter kit is crafted, take the kit to your hand and you will be prompted to choose placement. Select your desired location and select deploy. You cannot deploy the kit in a location until the hologram becomes solid white. Now we're ready to begin building our shelter. To craft the shelter site, you will need to collect 50 small wooden sticks. Yes, 50, as well as four long wooden sticks. This process will take some time. I suggest using a tool or gloved hands to conserve wound dressings. Attach the sticks to the applicable slots within the shelter site menu. At this point, you are able to create the stick shelter. If you plan to build another variation of shelter, do not build the stick shelter at this time. To construct a tarp shelter, you will need to locate a tarp. I've had a lot of luck locating these in sheds and other utility buildings. Attach the tarp to the applicable slot within the shelter site menu and you will receive the action prompt to build tarp shelter. To construct the leather shelter, you will need to gather two tanned leather pieces and attach them to the applicable slots within the shelter site menu. You now have the option to build leather shelter. Now let's cover how to gather tanned leather. Begin by locating garden lime, which spawns in sheds and other outbuildings. Next, locate an animal large enough to skin and quarter for their pelt. Chickens and fish do not yield pelts. Follow the familiar animal calls to track and dispatch them. With an edged weapon or screwdriver in hand, hover over the carcass and you will be prompted to skin and quarter the beast. This will produce bones, meat, guts, and pelts. Collect the pelt, take it to your hands and combine it with the garden lime to activate the tan leather option. The quality of the pelt determines the amount of tanned leather generated upon completion of the tanning process. So try not to Sonny Corleone the poor bovine, okay? All shelters have an 84 slot inventory, which the developers say is subject to change. Take note that all variations of these shelters can be destroyed in the same fashion as tents, and unfortunately there is currently no way to repair damaged shelters. And as always, I've left the directions in the description for you to peruse at your leisure. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing and joining our community. It helps the channel a lot. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments section below. For any other questions, comments, or concerns, come by and see us on Twitch, and until then, I'm Archie Stormcloud, and I'll see you in Janaris.